everybody's been commenting and asking for the Frontside 360, so here's my little tip. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we make videos about skateboarding and let's get into it. So if you're going to be trying the Frontside 360, I'm guessing you can Frontside 180 and you're at the skate park, you wind up your shoulders and you spin as hard as you can and generally what seems to happen, well at least when I was learning this trick, is I would do a 270 and I would just stop. And no matter what I tried, I couldn't get the 360 round, I would kind of land on my nose and I would just stop. And then some guy at the skate park is like, Oh, dude, you gotta put all your weight on your back foot so you can pivot it around, dude. So after taking Broski's advice, you try a front three and it looks like this. And trust me, you don't want to do frontside 360s like that. So in this video, I'm going to give you my three secret ninja tricks that are going to help you have frontside 360s every single time. Before you try this trick, I would recommend that you can frontside 180 extremely well. You can switch backside 180, and I know this is a weird one, but this is absolutely important. Once I did this, frontside 360s became really easy. You need to learn how to do frontside big spins. Okay, so the three main components to a really good frontside 360 that is going to stop all of your problems is number one, the frontside big spin. When you do a frontside 360, you want to set up your feet just like a frontside big spin. Now I know that's weird, but the main thing is you want to have your back foot in the pocket. And whenever you do a frontside 360, you want to think scoop. You would think initially that you just need to pop down really hard and all the spin comes from your shoulders. But the majority of the spin comes from pressing down and scooping the board forward as hard as you can, just like a frontside big spin. Sometimes that alone will fix your problems and you'll just almost do a full rotation and land the frontside 360. But if not, there's two other massive problems that I've noticed with the frontside 360. If I really scoop down on the board like I'm supposed to and really throw my shoulders, it seems that I get a really good rotation but a lot of times I end up landing sideways on my front foot and I can't get that last little bit of the trick around. Now, the reason this happens is because with the front side 360, when you land, you need the majority of the weight on your back foot. But the problem with that is if you're focusing on having all the weight on your back foot from the beginning of the trick to the end, you seem to land on your front foot. I know it seems a little bit backwards, but what I find has really helped me with this trick is once my scoop is right and my shoulders are really wound up, as I'm popping the trick and as I'm approaching the trick, I want to have the majority of the weight on my front foot. The reason is when you do any type of 360 trick, your weight seems to get shifted in the air because you're spinning. So if the majority of your weight is on your front foot as you're popping and spinning the trick, by the time you come around, for whatever reason, your weight shifts to the back of your foot and you don't even have to think about pivoting. Your momentum comes around and you just complete the 360. Okay, another thing that I want you to notice is your shoulders and how you throw yourself into the trick. With frontside 360s, it seems that a lot of people try to really throw their shoulders and their body in the direction they're spinning because they think they need to get a lot of extra spin and this is actually going to mess you up. I'm going to show a clip right here where I don't quite get the 360 around and I really lean into the spin and I drift over to the right. This is not good. What you want to do is you want to think of jumping straight up and then turning. It keeps your body aligned and when you come around, all of your weight is centered over that back foot and you can pivot around and not only that, you're not off balance so that you slip out to the left or to the right. So if you're having problems getting this trick around or if you are getting it around, you simply can't pivot or you're landing heavy on your front foot or slipping out, if you follow these three ninja tricks, I promise you'll get the front side 360. Just remember, Scoop it like a frontside big spin. Have your foot right in that pocket. Next, make sure that when you wind up, you keep all of the weight on that front foot so that when you spin and come around in the air, your weight will shift slightly to the back foot so that you can pull it around. And that's where the switch backside 180 comes into play. If you're really good at switch backside 180s, you're going to be used to pivoting on that back foot. So like I said in the beginning, get really good at frontside big spins, switch backside 180s, and front 180s. If that isn't enough, make sure that when you're throwing the trick, you have your shoulders wound up. But instead of jumping to the right towards the spin, really try to jump straight up and then turn. So like I said, if you follow these tricks, I'm confident you'll have frontside 360s down. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one, dudes.